And now it's my great pleasure to invite Senator Tom Carper, who worked very hard to make sure that we procured this award for Joe. I ask for Generals Reynolds and General Wiley, and for Mrs. Stark, Joe's wife, to come forward now so that we can present Joe a long overdue but well-deserved award for his service. Joe Stark, front and center. Citation involved with this uh, with this award. Joseph G. Stark Jr. has distinguished himself by meritorious achievement while participating in sustained aerial flight in support of combat ground forces in the Republic of Vietnam. During the period of 6 January 1970 to 1 June 1970, he actively participated in more than 25 aerial missions over hostile territory in support of operations against communist aggression. During all these flights, he displayed the highest order of air discipline and acted in accordance with the best traditions of the service. By his determination to accomplish his mission, in spite of the hazards inherent in repeated aerial flights over hostile territory, and by his outstanding degree of professionalism and devotion to duty, he has brought credit upon himself, his organization, and the United States Army, signed by Edward Bouts, Jr., Major General, U.S. Army. Joan, she has a talk about a good woman behind every man. She's been beside him all along. And because we're inside, there was a place in here for her to be given flowers, but I think they probably went the way of the wreath as well, but she will get them. Uh, oh, okay, they're right here. I don't want to come up, I'm going to stay in back. He says, no, you are not. <laughs> so, uh, but she has taken care of the finances, taken care of so many things, and always given support to Joe. And Joe has always led us. He's one of those leaders who leads from, from the front. No matter how, how he feels, he's, for every event, Joe's been out there in the rain, in the sun, whatever it is that we have to do, those people who came knew Joe would, would, uh, would, would be there. <laughs> 